This is Matt Russell from the FX Power Course, and welcome to the Daily FX Walkthrough. And here are the four pairs that I will be discussing this evening, the Euro Pound, the Aussie Kiwi, the Pound Swiss, and the Euro Swiss. So let's go ahead and pull up the charts. The first chart is the Euro Pound, and as, as I was mentioning uh, during yesterday's report, looking for this longer term support line uh, now that it's been violated to act as resistance moving forward, and that is what uh, that that did happen last night as prices did come up, uh, kiss that line perfectly, and then we had a, a good sell-off in the pair. So hopefully you were able to get an entry um, somewhere close to that uh, resistance line, um, the, the previous support line now acting as resistance. And if you're in this trade, I would continue to hold the trade uh, right now and look for prices to take out the low of this candle here, which is in this, the 89.54 uh, area. The next chart is the Aussie Kiwi. Not much has changed here either. Um, again, this is just the bounce off that 38.2. I would continue to hold this position. Maybe look to take profits anywhere above that 124 figure. Uh, but again, as of right now, there's really no, no entries uh, that I can see um, moving forward here. Um, so if you are long from that 38.2, I would continue to hold, again, looking to take profits above that 124 figure. Next chart is the pound Swiss, and this is the daily chart, and prices are getting close to the to the entry that I was describing during the past several reports, looking at this borderline uh, head and shoulder pattern here. Uh, I would like to place my stop again in the 70-70 area, uh, maybe even 70-80 or 70-90. So looking for prices to get up uh, close to that area to justify uh, a favorable risk reward. Prices right now in the 69-65 uh, area. So again, I'm looking for prices to get up maybe another 30 pips or so. Uh, and again, I'd place my, my stop for about 100 pips above my entry, looking for prices uh, to reverse at that point and come down and hit the longer term support line, which would be the target of that short trade. But anything can happen. And again, I'm not very confident in this trade idea, uh, but the risk to reward is favorable and it will be there, assuming prices do get up to that 60, 80 to 60, 90 area. Next chart is the Euro Swiss, and not much has changed here. We did have the close above. This is the bull flag pattern that I've been speaking about for the past several reports. Uh, now prices have closed above that, the upper resistance line of that bull flag pattern, and now I'm looking for prices to test the longer term resistance line. Let me zoom out here to get a better view of that line. So that's what I'm looking for here. We have the, the very sharp rally, the bull flag, prices breaking out right now, and looking looks like they're headed for a test of that longer term resistance line. Now, a little more, if you're a little more aggressive, you might look to enter uh, close to this area here. Uh, I don't like this candlestick pattern here. That's a borderline shooting star. Uh, but moving forward, uh, using this line here as your stop point, but it would, it's a little bit too much risk in my opinion. So the more conservative play, again, would be wait, wait for prices to come and test the longer term resistance line on the daily chart. Again, my name is Matt Russell. I'm an FX Power Course instructor here at FX Thanks for listening.